Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on in Tiga Talks Football? We are back again with another video, and that's my little boy crying, yelling and screaming over there, trying to get my attention. So I'm going to go back to him as soon as possible. But before we do that, let me just give you guys a quick little update. How's everyone doing today? We got some major news. Man City have made their big move, ladies and gentlemen. Man City have made their big move. Their big move is getting Ilkay Gundogan back and going for... Uh, a player from Celtic. And this is a situation where Arsenal need to respond. Arsenal need to respond by getting some deals done, selling some players. And we're going to discuss all of that in a second. But before we get to Arsenal news, Ilkay Gundogan and potentially signing Ke Keogo. Uh, how do you pronounce his name? Kyogo. Kyogo can definitely make a difference for Man City. Another attacking player to replace, uh, uh, what do you call it, the loss of... Uh, Oscar Bob and Julian Alvarez and of course Ilkay Gundogan will massively improve their midfield still considered one of the best midfielders out there if you didn't see his performances in the Euros and also what he's been doing for Barcelona he has been playing quite well but on the other side there's also more conversations around everything else we need to talk about Arsenal Arsenal Football Club that's why we're here ladies and gentlemen we're not here to worry about City I am not too concerned about Ilkay Gundogan and uh, Kyogo jo uh, joining uh, joining Man City as I am Arsenal getting our house in order so we will talk about that in a second but before we do that we have a situation where we need to talk about Mikel Arteta yes Mikel Arteta ladies and gentlemen Mikel Arteta his contract is close to being agreed ladies and gentlemen yes Mikel Arteta is close to agreeing his contract as of right now you can see here Mikel Arteta is expected to commit let me show you guys what I'm looking at so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Mikel Arteta is close uh, as Arsenal's Mikel Arteta is expected to commit his, his long-term uh, future to Arsenal soon. And Sky Sports uh, understand that the relationship between Arsenal and sporting director Edu and the Cronkies is strong and formal talks are not as necessary so that means that a deal is pretty much going to get worked out they don't even need to have too much conversations it's going to happen it's pretty much done it's out there it's, it, it's finished you don't need to worry that is great great news we i'm happy that we're going to tie down Mikel Arteta to a potentially a new deal i think he's the right man for the job and at this moment in time we are literally on the cusp of greatness and to to see him walk at the end of the year without him getting a new deal would be terrible for Arsenal I think at this moment in time he is as connected to everything good that's happening to the club as some of the players are and I would say even more since he is the guy who's set up everything and brought it together now there is some rumors about Ozyman let's hear Arsenal are back on the trail of Ozyman Napoli uh, are, are starting uh no, sorry. Napoli have started with the intentions of demanding the 130 million release clause paid in full, but now uh, evaluating the idea of accepting offers less than 100 million euros. Now, we keep hearing reports of Jokarez, Victor Ozyman. I don't think Victor Ozyman is the guy, and I don't think that's going to be the person we end up signing. But we will continue to hear rumors about Victor Ozyman. Don't stress yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. This is nothing. We're not. Nothing's going to happen from this, in my opinion. There's also rumors about Eddie and Ketia. If you guys don't know, if you guys don't know, we got a potential sale of 30 million on the cards for Eddie and Ketia. As Talk Sports understand that Arsenal and Nottingham Forest are confident uh, coming to an agreement worth about 30 million for Eddie and Ketia. Yes, Arsenal are not considering. Uh, are not uh, currently have, sorry, Arsenal do not currently have any plans to replace Eddie Nketiah should he make the move. So we don't have a plan to replace Eddie Nketiah, but maybe we will still try to bring in another attacker elsewhere. Eddie Nketiah doesn't need to be replaced with a striker. He could be replaced with a winger option also. What else are we talking about? Declan Rice uh, was was in the Arsenal, uh, was in the UEFA Premier League, uh, sorry, the uh, the what is it? The PFA team of the season with the rest of the boys. We'll talk about that in a second. But we have a move of Charlie Patino also. Charlie Patino will be leaving Arsenal for a fee in the region of £1 million, joining Deportivo La Coruña. Uh, yes, Deportivo La Coruña will be getting Charlie Patino, and there will be a significant sell-on clause if things go well. 
as reported by uh, Taylor, uh, Ryan Taylor. Ryan Taylor said that Arsenal have agreed a, per, uh, have agreed, uh, a permanent si um, sale of the 20-year-old midfielder Charlie Patino to the Deportiva La Coruña and said to be in the regions of £1 million, understood that the deal could be significant as there is a sell-on clause included. So maybe we can make more money off this in the foreseeable future, ladies and gentlemen. And with also the Chelsea news of them agreeing a deal for Joao Felix and joining Chelsea, there has been a whole lot of people talking about Raheem Sterling as Raheem Sterling will no longer be part of Chelsea's plans. Yes, Chelsea are looking to get rid of Raheem Sterling and with them looking to get rid of Raheem Sterling and Ben Chilwell, Arsenal fans have conjured up the rumor that Arsenal could end up going for Sterling. Now, before we go back into the Sterling conversation, let's just quickly look at this tweet. This tweet from Callum is 100% spot on. 100 million potentially from the likes of Balogun, Emma Smith-Rowe, and Eddie Nketiah. That is fantastic. Amazing business from Edu in the sense that he can get that much money for those three. But let's talk about this. Would Arsenal fans take Raheem Sterling on loan. Let me know in the comment section, would you take Raheem Sterling on loan at Arsenal right now? As Raheem Sterling has been, has had his number seven shirt taken from him and given to Pedro Neto. Raheem Sterling has been notified from the likes of uh, Maresca that he's not part of Chelsea's plans. Raheem Sterling, who's currently on ridiculous wages at Chelsea, has been notified that he can be offloaded. Potentially, they want to offload him because of his wages, and they don't want him part of the team. They've actually made it extremely difficult for him at Chelsea, and they've somewhat disrespected him. So we could probably get a really, really cut price deal. We could potentially get a deal where all we have to do is pay his fees. But do we want Raheem Sterling? Do we want 200 and whatever, 80 million or whatever he's making on the bench? Do you think Raheem Sterling could add to Arsenal at this moment in time? Now, let me show you guys. Raheem Sterling is 29 years old. Last season in the Premier League, he had a combination of eight goals, four assists in 31 games. And of course, this was in an extremely poor Chelsea side. I, I don't know exactly what his wages are. Let's find out what his wages are right now. Wages per week at Chelsea. Raheem Sterling is currently on a whopping 325 K a week. Damn. Damn. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. That does make sense why Chelsea want to get rid of him as they don't see him as part of their plans. But Chelsea do want to see him go. And Arsenal fans have made it up, uh, put it upon themselves to ask the question, would you take Raheem Sterling? As, as at this moment in time, the rumors are going around that uh, Raheem Sterling is wanted out. Arsenal eye another forward this summer, as, as some journalists report. And then most people are just saying to themselves, could it be a situation where Raheem Sterling ends up at Arsenal? Arteta is open to bringing another uh, world-class forward in this summer. Now, that's some that's some banter post. But the main thing is, everyone's, uh, even Liverpool fans saying that they would take Sterling back at their club at this moment in time. I want to know. Would you guys take Raheem Sterling? As Maresca has said, that both Sterling and Chilwell are not part of their plans. Personally, for me, let me tell you guys what I think. Because personally, for me, I would not. I would not go in for Sterling. I would stay away from Raheem Sterling. I think Raheem Sterling is is a decent player. He could definitely improve us, and he's a better player than Reese Nelson, Eddie Nketiah, and the likes of those guys, right? And he would definitely add some strength to our depth. But the wages it just doesn't make sense. 325k a week, unless Chelsea are paying a significant wages package to him to leave on loan. And then, he, even then, when he comes to Arsenal, he's not going to be guaranteed any minutes. I don't think he starts over Trossard. I don't think he starts over Saka. And at this point, he's he's probably on the same level as Martinelli. Uh, Maybe you guys think I'm crazy. Let me know in the comments if you disagree with me or if you agree with me. But the crazy thing is, I don't think anybody anybody in the Arsenal fan base should be that desperate where we're yelling and screaming for uh, for Raheem Sterling. Now, Ozyman, Ozyman, we're going to hear reports about Ozyman. We're going to hear reports about Ozyman a lot. But I don't believe, I don't believe that these reports about Ozyman are, are actually true. I just don't. I just don't. I question them. 
I question the validity of these reports. Yes, we know that Napoli are willing to take less, but does that mean Arsenal is going to pay that? That is that is where I'm a little confused. I just don't think because they're willing to take less, now that means Arsenal is going to pay that 100%. No, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the actual facts. Now, before we go any further, I do want to talk about Mikel Moreno, but Eddie and Ketia, yes, not in force, are closing in on a deal believed to be worth around 30 million. You've had a lot of people report it. Eddie and Ketia could be gone. We've already spoken about we've already spoken about Ozyman and numerous reports about Ozyman, right? Yes, Eddie and Ketia, we've already spoken about that. Eddie and Ketia. As you can see, there's a lot of conversations around Eddie and Ketia. We already spoke about Arteta also, as Arteta will be leaving Charlie Patino. Some people saying, let's bring in Nico Williams. I don't think Nico Williams will be the guy that we end up bringing in, honestly, personally, myself. But we need to speak about Mikel Moreno. Of course, uh, this is not exactly what I'm looking at. I'm looking for for the Mikel Moreno thing. Let me find it. Um, yes, so Mikel Moreno's um, uh, current club, Real Sociedad's president, has traveled to London to negotiate the exit himself. Parties... Uh, Parties have agreed to meet today to finalize the deal. Mikel's contract, uh, when I say Mikel Moreno's contract, would be between four to five years, depending on the, the, the final amortization of the transfer. Now, there is, there is more on the Mikel Moreno deal. As I've as I seen the other day, there was some stuff. But before we go any further on that, just shout out to the boys. Five of the Arsenal players made it into the PFA Team of the Year. It's unfortunate that Bakala Saka didn't make it, but the Declan Rice, Saliba, uh, Odegaard, Gabriel, and, of course, Rea. As you can see here, that's three defenders and two midfielders. Arsenal have really been blessed last season, and hopefully this season we can utilize our depth to get us into similar position and win it this time around. But I just need to go to the Declan... Uh, the Where is it? Who the hell is that? Why... Bukayo Saka, yeah. I thought that was someone else for a second. Um, but yeah, we already spoke about Gundogan. This is what I need to show you guys. So the other day I, I did a video and it looks like Arsenal have had a 35 million pound bid rejected and have set, uh, and Real Sociedad have set a 40 million euro price tag for Mikel Moreno. We Now we need to wait and see, but with, with, with this being tweeted from Doc, and and of course the original source being uh, being uh, being this article here, we just don't know if these numbers and figures are accurate. But 40 million pounds, 40 million euros for Mikel Moreno, with one year left on his contract at the age of 28, has a lot of Arsenal fans upset and saying some crazy things like this is a ripoff, negotiations are not working, and that might be true. At this moment in time, we need to find out what the final process, what the final fee will be for Mikel Moreno. Because I've heard as little as 17 million, 28 million, and now we're hearing 40 million euros. It just sounds like the negotiations isn't working and we are so that are doing the, getting the better of us as every single time the price is increasing. That is concerning. We need to figure out what the hell's going on and if we will get Mikel Moreno's deal over the line for the actual price that we want or we'll... Will Real Sociedad get the 40 million euros that they're asking for? We'll find out in the coming days. Aaron Ramsdale, of course, is expected to potentially leave Arsenal to go to Wolves. And when he does, we are expected to go in for Joao Garcia, who we've already agreed to personal terms. So a lot of work to be done. There's only like nine more days until the transfer window is done. So we'll find out how much work we can get done from now until the end of the transfer window. But we there will be a lot of conversa conversations that will need to be had. There will be a lot more updates, and I'll continuously keep you guys updated on as much as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. This is EGAL Talks Football. This has been the latest on Arsenal uh, transfer news, giving you guys the latest updates. And hopefully you guys uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and let me know, would you take Raheem Sterling at Arsenal right now? Just asking. I'm not interested myself.